I think, uh, but any comments, but we'll soon wrap up, but Raghu, this was excellent. It's really helpful. It's like a practical framework more than anything, which is, is really yeah. nice. But we can, it will basically then we can, it, it will improve on, it will become more details. We can go at different finer detail levels as uh, al Tafji was suggesting that the government level, we can have different levels. So it will be wonderful to create different level of these frameworks for village level, for district level, and other levels. Thank you, Raghu. Is there any final comments to comment on Raghu's framework before we close uh, the session? Kustub has just written he had to rush off to an urgent uh, meeting. But if there's any final comments or thoughts, um, we'll definitely take this forward afterwards. Um, but please. Uh, voice any last itching thoughts. Go ahead, Terry. And um, then after. Yeah, just a very quick comment about sort of how we move forward, because I think that's really, really helpful um, to set out that framework. And I think also the issues that we discussed earlier are really, really important. And some will be relevant to some projects, not all will be relevant to all projects. So I think it's really good to have this as a resource and a list of things, sort of checklists that people can think about and have this framework also as a basis and I think that's that's really really fantastic and just just one thought in terms of I, I think the results that come out of these sessions I think it's really really good to share them widely you know not only with this community but I think also with uh, other communities for example you know international tourist organizations that are working on on uh, you know ecotourism or environment tourism or, or all aspects of tourism because I think what this group has done is brought together an immense amount of knowledge and experience and I think you know it, it has much wider application uh, that, than just uh, the nations that, that are represented here so that was just just a, a sort of a comment really that to think about that as well as things move forward. Thank Justin, you. I just wanted to say also, it may be possible if everybody agrees, is that we share this with every participant and every participant kind of creates its own um, framework and code of conduct uh, for both the levels and share with us. So then that, then Snow Leopard Network will have a repository of various different ideas uh, um, to have um, and, and as a framework. So it will be very nice to people can participate later on leisurely, uh, create their own framework and code of conduct, and then share it with us. That there would be anybody needed any help in future, this is available as a repository. Yeah, great idea, uh, Raghu. I think that is a, a great plan. We're going to try to flesh this out a bit on paper and then open it up to our participants here, but also the wider Snow Leopard community um, to get feedback and then uh, develop it further. But I 100% agree, Raghu. It should be a participatory document, which we keep fleshing I, out. I, I think Yashpiri is expert on this. Yes, and Yashpiri <laughs> keeps getting involved. <laughs> He's got a framework right here. Yes, yeah, fear you're high. We, we can volunteer high. him, even though he's left. Yes. <laughs> Sad yet. And after, after that, do you have a final thoughts you'd uh, like to share? Yeah. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Raguji for sharing this uh, uh, framework because it's very important to create this. And it's also very difficult to create this because the multiple stakeholders involved in performing various roles. So before uh, actions, I think it's very important that uh, we should also talk about the roles and responsibilities of the various stakeholders involved in this framework so that everybody is very much clear uh, about the specific role and task which that particular stakeholder has to play. So I think it's important and uh, maybe we should need to work more on this seriously to establish this framework actually in a practical form on the ground. Thank you. Thank you, Aftan. Definitely. Um, it's hard to articulate it and, so, and also visually. So I think we'll, it will be important to take forward. And I love how he kept it blank as well for people to adapt it as they need. Um, any last thoughts before uh, we end? I think Betzad is itching to say something. Please go <laughs> ahead, Betzad. <laughs> no, okay. 
Okay, then um, then we'll close the session. I think I I mean we we are ending on a really positive note because in the beginning we really asked if tourism and conservation were in contradiction, right? And where there there was an alternative where they could be synergized. Um, but we've seen today through these positive examples and throughout the four sessions that there are positive examples across the range, and these examples I think well personally I think are due to these uh, very special reflections and individuals we have here in the Snow Leopard community um, throughout the world that are trying to bring these together and promoting conservation. Um, so I look really forward as we develop these further. So hopefully we will continue um, bringing it together and, and create this uh, led conservation-led tourism framework and bring it into action. Um, so we'll open up the document for comments from everyone and, and develop it even further. So please stay tuned. And as a conservationist, you know, as I look at, I, I often think as tourism here and, and conservation here. So I really hope we can try to make it the conservation here and the tourism here uh, or some or find some kind of um, balance. Uh, but I just wanted to say a huge thank you um, to our resource persons, um, uh, Ragu, Joanna, Yuhan, Jurchio, Terry, Bedzad, Ismail, Ajay, uh, we also now have Muiz, Mirzo, and Camille, Aftad, um, many of you out there. So thank you all for coming together um, and having this great team, bringing this great team together. So just wishing everyone a success in your work and, uh, and thank you for sharing and taking forward these positive examples. And as Muiz said in his presentation, we'll see everyone in Hooper, right? Let's all uh, <laughs> get off to Hooper <laughs> very soon. Um, so uh, yes, yeah, so let's, uh, we can end. So thank you everyone and we'll stay in touch um, very soon. Bye everybody. <laughs>